Did you know that 86% of data analysts complain about their data being out of date and that 90% of them complain about the fact that they're dealing with unreliable data sources? Well, we're gonna talk about these stats in this week's top five data AI and analytics posts of the week. Uh, before we go there, I wanna make sure that if you like this update, you let me know about it, but also more importantly that you comment and share it with people because I wanna know if these updates are helping you throughout the week, what I'm missing, what I could do better. So let's get into this first resource I talked about. This is coming from the state of the data analyst survey 2020 done by the good folks at Five Trend and Dimensional Research. There's a lot in this report to digest, um, but I'll just give you the good news, bad news. The good news is that 70% of respondents indicate they're gonna hire more data analysts. The problem is what we're finding out is that 50% of your data analyst time is spent analyzing only 50%. So you're gonna to need to find some shortcuts and resources to accelerate that. In fact, this is becoming more important as Gartner is updating their top 10 trends for data analysts uh, given to the current crisis. There's a lot, again, in that research piece, but I, I look at a few um, um, updates or predictions that I think are particularly relevant. First of all, 75% of enterprises will shift from experimenting to operationalizing AI. I think that's great news. It's also great news in terms of how it's going to drive demand. Gartner predicts it's going to 5x the demand in streaming data and analytics platforms. It's all good news for all of us involved in data. Another trend that's uh, becoming the obvious one is that cloud is a given now. And the third one that they are highlighting as part of their top 10 that I particularly like is this idea of data and analytics colliding. So they've talked about data and AI coming together, the idea that you can have augmentation as part of the data analytics uh, process, if you will. This one is talking about the data platform and the analytics uh, capabilities coming together, uh, which is going to make it really exciting uh, for many of us and driving value uh, to our customers and, and end users. So I talked about shortcuts. I'll give you a few here. The first one is a few weeks ago, I wrote a blog on uh, machine learning and AI, and I talked about cheat sheets and crash courses and so forth. So I update this blog ongoing now. I've got four great cheat sheets on stats methods to use, as well as some machine learning uh, cheat sheets. Take a look at that. There's also a great summary of Dan Jeffrey's uh, crash course on artificial intelligence. I think it's called uh, uh, Learn Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning, even if you suck at math. Let's take a look at that. Lots of people uh, give me some really great feedback on it, and I think it's entertaining, and Dan Jeffries is a great guy to follow. Uh, speaking of which, there's another great guy that I think you should follow, and his name is Eric Weber. He's a data scientist on Yelp. He was at LinkedIn previously, but what I like, really like about what he's been doing is on a daily basis, he's sharing insights on resources, for instance, at the top SQL resources recently and so forth, and he's really engaged with the community. So this was my first highlight, I would say, follow Eric Weber if you can. Also, you should follow Dave Langer. If you don't know Dave Langer, he's VP of Analytics. He's a blogger, he's a YouTuber, he's an instructor. These are folks that are dedicated to really teaching you skill sets uh, on data and links to drive value. In fact, uh, Dave's um, mission or tagline, if you will, uh, is I teach the world the 20% of analytics that drives the 80% of the ROI. The reason why I'm highlighting him particularly this week is because he recently published his 20 days in real analytics. What is the life of a data analyst for 20 days. So 20, every day for 20 days, he posted kind of what he was working on. Uh, it's hilarious, it's entertaining. Don't just read the update, but also look at the comments um, because it really shows you kind of how is he's helping the community. So there you go, Eric, uh, Dave, and Dan. We, uh, we interviewed Dan a few weeks ago. Uh, if you haven't caught up to that podcast, uh, make sure you catch it. It's a little bit longer, it's about 30 minutes, but he talks about his experience and his do's and don'ts. And then finally, if all of that is not enough, I want you to mark your calendar for Tuesday, this coming Tuesday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. Gartner is running a free webinar on delivering value with AI and data. That's really what we're about. We talk a lot about data and analytics, but the bottom line is value, learning for best practices so you can develop your next practices. That's really kind of the mission of these updates. I hope you can deliver your best practices. Let me know what they are. As usual, the resources are in the description here. Please comment, tag people. Let's start the conversation. And if you like this, make sure to like it, 
use it and abuse it and have a great week. I will talk to you next week.